Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we are going to run through the demos for the Raspberry Pi AI hat. Now, in a previous video, I did this full assembly with the Raspberry Pi 5 and the Raspberry Pi AI hat and Raspberry Pi camera. If you missed that video, I will link to that. This is a prerequisite to this video where I'll run through the demos and show you what this Raspberry Pi AI hat can do. Now, let's get started. We are picking up right where we left off in the previous video. We did the object detection demo. And what I'm going to do is we're gonna run that demo again. Now, when I ran the demo, if you saw the previous version, you'll notice that this is a much clearer picture than the previous one. That is because I am now using the HD Raspberry Pi high definition camera instead of my Raspberry Pi Cam 2. Now, straight off the bat, what you'll notice is that it does pick up my photo on the left on the mug uh, as a person. This is an action figure, second from the left, saying it's a person, great. This is an apple and it can't decide if it's an apple or an orange. And then the wine glass, it's 95% sure it's a wine glass. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the mug slightly so you can see the handle. And when I do that, it recognizes it as a cup. That is the first demo, which is YOLO version six. Now let's run the same demo, but now we're gonna run YOLO version eight. And here is YOLO version eight. 96% it is a cup. It thinks my floor is a dining table, no problem. It is 81 percent confident this is an apple and then there's a wine glass 92 to 93 percent so it lost the person i'm going to turn the cup around it still knows it's a cup and there's the person and as a bonus uh, you'll see my cat and that is our demo for yellow version 8. now let's use the yolo x model And we got back our person, which is the action figure second from the left. It recognizes the cup, the person, the apple, 88% confident it's an apple, and then the wine glass. My cat would like to be included. And there she is. It's recognizing my cat. And that is the demo for YOLO X. There is a YOLO V5 person and face model that we can run. Let's try that out. And as suspected in a face and person model, you may expect that it only recognizes persons and faces. I've added a photograph of myself and it has recognized my face. The action figure is recognized as a person and then my coffee mug with my picture on it, person, and it has recognized my face. And there it goes again, person, face, that's another photo. And third photo of myself, person, face. Does a good job of recognizing people and then being able to uh, differentiate their face. And now my cat is no longer recognized or my wine glass and the apple. And that is a demo of YOLO V5 with face and person recognition. From here, we've got image segmentation. Now this demo does not work. There was a mix up in the files. I'm just gonna uh, run it for you just to show you it does not work. There is a way to fix it or the Raspberry Pi people are fixing it. And um, I will link to this below, uh, but yeah, it was brought up with the Raspberry Pi people and okay, it's not working. And the Raspberry Pi people did respond. Yeah, there was a mix up with the assets of the files and the latest release. That does not work, but that's okay. We'll, we'll have another demo here shortly. And then let's do the last demo, Pose Estimation. And this is a YOLO V8. It has created a new camera view called Pose. And in the action figure, it's showing you the pose. And then there's a photograph of myself. It's showing my pose and then on the coffee mug. And that is the demo for the pose. 
And as we scroll down, there's something down here called further resources. And there is a Halo Raspberry Pi 5 examples in a GitHub repository. And if we want to check that out, that's got some great demos as well. And here's some more demos we can run on this Raspberry Pi Halo board, the Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus, real world use cases, quick deployment starting point. Let's start by uh, cloning the repository. Next, we will change directory CD into that new folder that we just copied. All right, perfect. Now we've got to do an install. All downloads completed successfully, installation completed successfully. Then we're going to run the source command. Uh, here we go, source setup, the environment, and we are going to start working on this detection example. And we're gonna run the simple detection sample. And here is the simple detection sample. And it really just looks like this, exactly the same as the GIF. Really what it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a video. It's running the detection sample on top of it. It's actually going through what it's detecting and what level of confidence it feels for everything it's detecting. And it's just running really fast. So that is really cool. That works, excellent. Closed out. So now let's run the full detection example. And here we go. This is the sample Halo detection app. It's detecting people as they walk by. Now this could just be a GIF, right? I could have just made a GIF where it pretends to identify people as we go along to show you that this is some processing in real time. And I'm gonna move the screen so that you can see the terminal and you can see the terminal is crunching through everything it sees. There it goes, it's kind of crunch, crunching through. Hey, this is the frame. I have completed the detection sample. So if we want to do this with our Raspberry Pi camera, it's not gonna be quite as exciting as that video that was running, but here it is with the Raspberry Pi camera. And there you go. Now you can see, I don't know why it zoomed in all of a sudden, but uh, it's recognized the wine glass, my apple, the person, it thinks that my action figure is holding a handbag. I'm gonna move this over a little bit, move the apple over, and let's see if it can recognize the cup. Yes, it recognizes the cup. We kind of lost the action figure. Let's see if we can get my cat. And that is the detection app. And now I have attached a USB camera to my Raspberry Pi. Yes, it found my USB camera. Excellent, we're using the USB camera. We are going to attempt to do a, an object recognition with the USB camera. And let's see if we can detect our objects using the USB camera. And there it is. Okay, it identified my cup, my apple, but not my person. Okay, very good. Um, so that was a little demo using my USB camera. It's 90% confident. That's an apple, a cup. That is the demo with the USB camera. Close that out. Now let's go into the pose estimation example. Python basic pipelines pose estimation.py. We'll run this Python script, running the Python script. There it goes. As part of the sample, they are running a little video and it uh, goes through and it estimates the pose. And it's lagging quite a bit. And I could not get the pose estimation sample to run, but what if we can try the pose estimation, but use the input as our Raspberry Pi camera. We have our person and it has given us the pose of our action figure. Uh, it unfortunately is also thinking my Apple's a person now. I've put up a picture of myself on my phone and it's giving me the pose in this photograph of myself. And as my cat walks by, it does not give me a pose of the cat. Stop that demo and we'll move on to the next demo. Full disclosure here, my Raspberry Pi got a little hung up after that last demo. So I did a reboot and we're starting over again. So I had to uh, start the source setup again. And what we're gonna try now is the instance segmentation example. And that does not seem to be working. I'm going to force quit that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the 
instant segmentation example with our Raspberry Pi camera as the input and see if it works that way. And there we go. We can recognize several objects, a cup, an apple, a wine glass, and uh, the terminal is giving us a frame count and it's put a colored box around each item. So that's the instant segmentation app. And now we're going to attempt the depth estimation example. And there it is. This is the depth estimation example. This is, I assume, the same video as what we saw with the people walking by. And then it kind of gives you the depth of the people. So I'm gonna move it over to the side here. We can see what's going on with the terminal. The terminal is counting the frames and then giving you an average depth. So I'm gonna stop that demo. And those were the demos for the Raspberry Pi AI hat that came with it. I hope you enjoyed those demos, especially with my cat. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.